It is a blessing of another brand new day to you all that I want to welcome you to your favorite program. This is Sunday School, a program that has been designed to help us from one level of work into another level of work, knowing fully well that our journey with God is constantly progressive and progressively constant. We need to give all the praises, all the honor, all the adoration back unto God because He deserves our praise. If God can open our eyes, then we see that is the wiles of the enemies that, that we've not been able to progress into another dimension. And I want to say to you, on this wonderful day that as we will be going through our topic today we will break through in the name of jesus and like i always say in the class of sunday school you miss is like a treasure that you've thrown in the ocean you don't want to miss up on any of the episodes and i want to say a very big thank you for the likes for the comment for the shares for all that you do we really do appreciate god in your life and it's my prayers for you on this day that the lord will take you from one level of glory into another level of glory in the name of jesus the lord is going to Phantom leap you into higher dimensions in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. And I'm your host for today. I'm Akikun Akiola. And the topic I have before you on this day is physical breakthrough. Physical breakthrough. And our opening prayer for today says, Almighty God, please let me prosper in everything that I do. You want to pray in the name of Jesus that whatsoever you lay your hands on according to the will of God, that you will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, everything that I lay my hands to do, oh God, according to your will, Lord, let them begin to prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everything, everything, everything oh god in the name of jesus christ amen and amen and amen in jesus mighty name amen thank you for joining us on this wonderful broadcast and i know today promises to be a wonderful time in god's presence as we will be going into our word for today physical breakthrough ah yeah yeah physical breakthrough mm, mm. god is going to speak to us in jesus mighty name to start with, to start with, let's just do a couple of scriptures that we come back into one or two, three things. The first one, let's see what the Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. The Bible says, And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Will thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thy hand. And David came to Baal-perazim, and David smote them there, and said, The Lord hath broken forth upon my enemies before me, and the bridge of the waters. Therefore he called the name of that place Baal-perazim. Mm, mm, mm. The next one that we're going to see is according to 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 26 to 27. 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 26 to 27. The Bible says, And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too sore for him, he took with him 700 men that drew sword to break through even unto the king of Edom. But they could not. Then he took his eldest son that should have reigned in his stead and offered him for a bond offering upon the wall and there was a great indignation against israel and they departed from him and returned to their own land mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. god is going to help us in the name of jesus let's just add this one more bible passage this is one of the Bible passages I love so much. That says, as soon as Zion travelled, the Bible says she brought forth. As soon as Zion travelled, she brought forth. So that means that for one to actually break forth in whatever means or in whatever sphere the person finds himself, there needs to be a place of travelling. And to start with, let us look at what a breakthrough is. A breakthrough is when the barrier that is limiting you from stepping into the next phase of your life is lifted. There are barriers there are oppositions, there are impediments. These are the things that men that, that, that are there in the life in the in, in the life of a man, and these are the things that causes impediment. These are the things that delays a man, they cause stagnation, they cause a man to retrogress, they, 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 they impede the progress. A man that is supposed to go on a quantum leap when impediment barriers and all these things uh, under certain conditions begin to manifest themselves, they come and create a situation where they put that person in the place of impediment in the place of stagnation that that person will not be able to progress with his life it is called a barrier that is limiting one from stepping into the place or the next phase 
of his life. So when that thing is lifted, mm, that is what we call breakthrough. When a barrier, a stronghold, a mountain, limitation, resistance by whatever spiritual agencies. One of the things we need to understand as to the things that we call limitations in life, they are sponsored by different agencies. But what I want to say to us on this day is that whatever agency it is that we want to say, everything starts from the place of the spirit realm. The outward manifestation that we see in the physical, that is all that we see but not all that we see is all that there be there are so many things that that we cannot see the bible says why we look not at the things which are seen for the things that are seen are temporal but the things that we don't see these are, are eternal these are the things that create a location they create an environment that makes possibility for some certain things in the realms of the spirit uh, yeah 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 mm. It means the person is now under another condition that now exposes you to another environment. One of the things we understand when we're looking at breakthrough, when we're looking at breakthrough, when we're looking at breakthrough is this. When a man is under the influence of a condition or a condition is, 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 is seen in that place, that condition is what creates an environment. And that environment is what we now see and we begin to say, this person is this, that person is that, is as a result of a sponsored condition. The moment that condition is taken away, you see that same person is exposed to another environment. And by coming into another environment, then we begin to see certain possibilities. Mm, in the life of someone mm, mm. now let's look at this under certain conditions breakthrough cannot and will not be possible but sustaining a superior intelligence is what backs what we call breakthrough for a man to break through it means that to an environment that person has been exposed to as a result of the underlying condition when that condition is taken away another condition is introduced by a superior intelligence you see that the outward manifestation of the condition births what a new environment and that is what we call breakthrough mm. forces are responsible for keeping people in a perpetual state for whatever duration until the one held captive decides to break the hold or the yoke mm. forces are responsible they are responsible for keeping someone in a perpetual state for as long as the person wants. Forces will not come and let that man go. They are there to keep that person in a perpetual state of bondage. That that person remains in that state of bondage for whatever year, for whatever means. And that's the reason why you see some people, they are in that bondage for years. They pass it on to their children's children until a man awakes until a man stands up and says this is not my portion and a man contends with that situation with that yoke with that hold that is when a man can break forth and i pray for you in the name of jesus that you will break through in the name of jesus whatever is holding you down they lose their grip over your life in the name of jesus christ what are the things that keeps people in a state of bondage the first one is ignorance the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of what knowledge so when a man is ignorant of his identity in god is ignorant of the things that are made possible unto him that man can be in a perpetual state because when we are talking about breakthrough breakthrough means that you need to break through something and break free you need to bust forth you need to parat you need to break that thing you need to break the hold you need to destroy the shackles you need to come there needs to be an emergence of a new you you know what usually happens when 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 a chicken gives lays an egg huh, and there's a period of fertilization there's a period whereby the chick begins to form for that chick to come out from the egg that chick needs to break forth that is breakthrough that depends huh, whether that chick is going to manifest in the life or that chick will not manifest because there is a breaking force and what you see first is that there needs to be a cracking kapalia swatter there needs to be a cracking that cracking is an evidence that an emergence of life is coming to being that a new life is emerging something wants to come forth something wants to break through something wants to lose hold something wants to happen and that is why we see as long as zion travel she brought forth the moment 
to travel. You travel in the realms of the spirit. You travel in the place of prayer. There is a breaking forth. There is a breaking forth. The Bible makes us to understand that there was neither rain on earth in the space of three and a half years. Elijah, the man of God, he went and prayed unto God, said to his servants, Go! and check what is happening in the cloud. That boy said nothing is happening. He continued to travel because there needs to be a breakthrough. There needs to be a breaking forth. There's been famine in the land. Water has ceased in the space of three and a half years. So many things are beginning to happen. Things are not in conformities as to the way things need to be. Hence, somebody needs to break through. How do you break through? You break through in the place of prayers. When you tarry upon the altars of prayer and he said go again because this man continued to pray putting his head between his knees and said lord something must happen he said go again on the seventh time the Bible said, uh, and they and, and they came back uh, and said to Elijah, I see something like the feast of a master. He said, That is a sign. That is the cracking. That is the cracking that you want to see. That something is about to emerge. Something is about to burst forth. Something is about to open. There is a new you. There is a new dimension. There is a new realm that you need to get into. When it comes, when one travels, that brings us to the second point. The lack of the staying power. A yaka is a yoke and it is a bondage. When you cannot tarry on the altars of prayers, when you cannot tarry in the place of the study of the word of God, when you cannot stay put. The Bible says Elijah stayed put. As soon as Zion travelled, she brought forth her. You need to tarry. You need to tarry. You need to tarry. Another thing that keeps people in the place of bondage is when you stop digging. You need to cultivate your wells. You need to keep digging. You need to keep digging until you get to that place we call the Aquifa Kapalia Dosea. Lizum that is a cantier. You need to get to the place of Aquifa where you break through. That becomes the oasis. That becomes the zenith. That is where you see water. When you see people digging the well, they keep digging. They keep digging. Even if it feels like you've seen water, you need to dig deeper. You need to dig deeper. That is breakthrough. Through. You want to break through in that aquifer. It means you need to go deeper. You go deeper. You go deeper. When you stop digging, a man can remain in the place of perpetual bondage. Another one is lack of faith. When you don't have faith in God, when God says to you, go, possess the land. When God says to you, go, I will be a father unto you. What more shall I say? Time will fail me to talk of men like Gideon, to talk about men like Daniel, to talk about people like David, to talk about men like Japheth, to talk about people like Samuel. Men who through faith subdue nations, they wrought righteousness, they stopped the mouth of lions. Women received their death back to life, they wrought valiantly. When you apply the faith of God, you will discover that you will break through in life. You will break through in ministry. You will break through in all that you do. The Bible says they quench, they quench the vileness of the fire. They quench the vileness of fire. They wrought righteousness. They obtain the promises. You want to break through. God has said something unto you and you want to break through. What more shall I say? Time will fail me to begin to give examples of this man. Man who through faith. Subdue nations. When you subdue a nation, it means you have actually broken through another realm. It is like a layer that is stopping you. You cannot go forth. But when you break through it, that is what we are talking about. That is breakthrough. Mm. Mm. Lack of sensitivity to the things of the spirit or to the voice of God. If you cannot hear the voice of God, how do you want to break through? Remain in that place. Yet there is famine in that land. Yet God knows. Uh, God knows there is famine in that land. But God can give you a word and say, remain in that place. But if you cannot hear the word, everybody is migrating. Everybody goes the same way. A, A, sensitivity to the things of the spirit. Another thing about breakthrough sacrifice breakthrough comes by sacrifice sacrifice is not limited to your financial powers only but what about you tarrying on the place of of prayers it is sacrifice sacrifice when you stay 
when you stay that is the staying power when you stay the chick that is being formed in the egg needs sacrifice because it needs to pick something out and when 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 the mo when the chicken now discovers that there is a crack and there is something that is when the mother can now help but there needs to be an internal power and Naja is Cruz Kratos. Huh? This is the power that breaks something. That needs to break something up there. It breaks it so that it breaks the yoke. It breaks that limitation. It breaks that thing that limits that chick into that confinement called the, 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 called the shell. That shell is a confinement. It limits it. But for that chick to come into full potential, to manifest in destiny, it needs to break something forth. Mm. sacrifice you need your inner strength by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost to break through then you can burst forth and i pray god is going to give us understanding in the name of jesus christ our memory verse for today will be taken from genesis chapter 26 and verse 22 genesis chapter 26 verse 22 the bible says and they removed from thence and digged another well and for that they strove not and they called the name of the place Rehoboth and said for now the Lord had made room for us and we shall be fruitful in that land for you to be fruitful in that land you need to come to the place of Rehoboth and in the place of Rehoboth means that you don't you need to keep digging even when it feels like nothing is happening when it feels like nothing is happening when the environment the situations the circumstances around you does not suggest a possibility you need to keep digging you need to cultivate your wells you need to keep Keep digging. And the Bible says, and when he did the third one, ah, yeah, 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 the Bible says they stopped it not. And they called the place Rehoboth. He said, that place is called Rehoboth for the Lord had made room for us. I decree and I prophesy over your life. The Lord is going to make room for you in the name of Jesus. And you will be fruitful in the place where you are in Jesus' mighty name. Our introduction to this says, generally, a breakthrough is is major progress such as great innovation or discovery that overcomes significant obstacles. In other words, it is overcoming something challenging and having an achievement. A breakthrough usually gives a miraculous result. Breakthrough is often associated with prosperity, although it means different things to different people. We can, therefore, talk about physical, we talked about financial, material, scientific, academic, etc. and spiritual breakthroughs. So we see, you know one of the things that is, is so common in science is for somebody to say in science that you have a breakthrough in science, it, it means that you need to come up with an innovation. You need to come up with something that is new. And that's why when you, you want to bridge the knowledge and gap, there is a gap in knowledge. And somebody needs to bridge it. And somebody goes to the lab and continue experimenting, experimenting, and come to the place and say, you see this one, it's a breakthrough. And we, we want to thank God for our scientists. We want to thank God for, for, for all the people in the field of sciences with significant breakthroughs in sciences and i pray god is going to help us let's go on to our break we'll be right back with more for you still on our topic today physical breakthrough don't go anywhere god bless you Welcome back from that break and if you're just joining us, you're tuning into Sunday School on our topic today, Physical Breakthrough. And this is the time of the program where we go into our Bible passage. Our Bible passage will be taken from Genesis chapter 26, 1 to 6 and we also check verse 11 to 14. The Bible says, And there was famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech king of the Philistine unto Jerah. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell of thee. So join in this land and I will be with thee and bless thee for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all the countries and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of the heaven and give unto thy seed all these countries and in thy seed shall all nations of the heart be blessed because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge my commandment, my statutes, my laws and eyes dwelled in Jerah. And Abimelech charged all these people, saying, 
He that touches this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Then Isaac sold in the land and received in the same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For he had possessions of flock, possession of herds, great store of servants, and the Philistines envied him. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nothing but a breakthrough. This is nothing but the breakthrough. The Bible says there was a condition in the land, the condition of famine, which means that nothing happens naturally. Even when you want to go into agriculture, the, the Bible says because of famine in the land, nothing is happening. Perhaps you are in that state and it feels like nothing is happening. Everything around you is not suggesting possibility unto you. There is one thing that you need today. It's the same thing that Isaac practiced. The Lord appeared unto him. Breakthrough starts in the place of the spirit realm. Can you allow the voice of the the Lord to speak unto you. Can you create that relationship with you? That God, that God will begin to speak unto you. God will begin to lead you. One of the things that I also want to say to you about breakthrough, breakthrough comes by divine direction. When God leads you, when God directs your path, when the Lord says something unto you, breakthrough is ever manifested here on earth. When you bring all of God here and you allow all of God to begin to find expressions in your environment, that is when the word of the Lord will come unto you. And the word of the Lord said, dwell in that land. And the Lord gave promises. The Bible says that man went forward. That man went forward. That is breakthrough. When you leave your current state and you progress, you quantum leap into higher dimensions. That is breakthrough. And I pray. We're all going to break through in the name of Jesus Christ. You will break through in the name of Jesus. We have to listen out nice today. The first one says instances of physical breakthrough. And the second one says from negative to positive. Now, let's look at the first one. Instances of physical breakthroughs. Mm. You know, we're going to mention some physical breakthroughs apart from wealth. The first physical breakthrough includes but are not limited to wealth. We have financial and material when we're looking at wealth. We are scientific breakthrough. And when you also break through in the place of war, yeah, 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 that is warfare. And also in the place of your academics. Somebody that is writing uh, GCSEs, is writing WAIC, is writing grade 12, is writing GCE, whatever exam you're writing, your SAT, you're writing your TOEFL, whatever exam, your IELTS, whatever exam you're writing, the moment you pass that exam, that is a breakthrough. Because you're now living in the realm. You are now going into a higher realm, into a higher dimension. And as the Bible says something in 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 15 to 16, you know, there was a time that David longed to drink. There is a particular well. The Bible says, and David longed, David longed that he might drink from the well of Bethlehem. The Bible says something about, about his three mighty men. Those three mighty men, they did what? They broke through the host of the Philistines. You have to break through. You need to force that thing. You need to force that way. Break through talks about you forcing into something and creating a way for yourself you are breaking in the Bible says and these three men they broke through the host of the Philistines so that they can just get that thing for David that is breakthrough for you to break through, there needs to be something that is called a compelling force or an agatso that you need to compel men you need to compel situations and circumstances to bow to your God that is breakthrough Breakthrough, there will be impediments, there will be barriers, there will be limitations. It could be long-standing issues, it could be age-long issues, age-long circumstances, even before your forefathers, before they were born. Those are obstacles, these are ancient gates. These are gates that don't want you to go anywhere. But you need to break through your breakthroughs and go through your go-throughs before you can come to the place of achieving destiny in life. Breakthrough, breakthrough, you break and you go through it. Mm. God is going to help us in the name of Jesus. And the next one is, what kind of breakthrough did the lepers experience? There is also another dimension of the breakthrough that the lepers experienced in their days. And the Bible makes us to understand according to 2 Kings chapter 6, uh, verse 25, and 2 Kings chapter 7, and verse 8. The Bible says something that is so profound there. The Bible says, And there was great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it until an has head was sold four score pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of dove's dung for four 
five pieces of silver. And when the slippers, they came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried them silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried things also and went and hid it. That is a breakthrough. A breakthrough that leads a nation to the place of abundance. Some people need to go into that camp. Ah, yeah, yeah. You need to go there. You need you, by the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. Allow the word of God to precede you. Allow the word of God to go ahead of you. When the word of the Lord goes ahead of you, that word has the capacity to sustain you in all that you do. Mm. God is going to help us. What kind of breakthrough did Abraham experience? Abraham laid the foundation of breakthroughs for generations after him. Abraham was the one that laid the foundation. You see what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 26, verse 1 to 6, that God actually gave a promise unto Abraham. He started from there. And I pray that God is going to help us. <laughs> Isaac got the breakthrough in Jerah. He became greater than Abraham, his father, and a whole nation envied him. That is breakthrough. How can a man come to the place of breaking through and the whole nation will envy that man? The voice of the Lord is mighty upon the waters. When the voice of the Lord comes and speaks to you, when the voice of the Lord says to you this and this and this is what you need to do, that man is a testimony waiting to be told. When the voice of the Lord... Now, Jacob had an extraordinary scientific breakthrough and increased exceedingly. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You know, one of the things that I love so much when we're talking about Jacob, you know, when the Lord, when, 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 when he served Laban, and when shall I provide for my own? And said, okay, you know, all the speckled, the spotted, the ring striped animal, those also be your portion. The Lord said to him, and he saw, he saw it that you need to get the poplar or green. And he did that, A's and the likes. That is scientific breakthrough. How a man can, by the power of the Holy Ghost, come into a place and create something that we call herbs, or he went to get a tree, cut a poplar down, cut this down. And God said, let the animals, let them just do what? Let them just see it. And that's it. Let the animals, let them see it. Let them see it. That is breakthrough. Scientific breakthrough. When you can come up with a solution and a strategy. People doing PhD today. It's because there is a problem and they want to bridge it. That is breakthrough in science. And I pray God is going to help us in the name of Jesus. God is going to help us. How a man can take a green poplar, azel, and cheese nut tree, and peeled with white string in them, and made them to appear which was in the rods. That is scientific breakthrough. You know the Hendrix, the Bible says, and the man parat, he burst forth. He broke through. You have to break through. You have to break through. You have to break through in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the man increased exceedingly. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What did Solomon do to get a breakthrough? Hmm. Through unprecedented sacrifices, Solomon had a multidimensional breakthrough. You know, one of the things about breakthrough, breakthrough comes with sacrifices. It comes with sacrifices. There is nothing, like I said, the sacrifice may not be financial sacrifice. The sacrifice may be so that you need to stir up the gift that is on the inside of you by tarrying on the place of altars. Your sacrifice could be you will be in that lab 12 hours every day for the next one year. 12 hours every day, every day for the next two years. Apart from Sunday that you need to go to church, you do your Bible, whatever. You do your Bible study, you do your prayers. But you are always in that lab. Just making sure there has to be a breakthrough. Breakthrough comes by sacrifice. God is going to help us. Let's continue to this break. We'll be right back with more for you. Still on our topic today. Physical breakthrough. Don't go anywhere. God bless you.
Welcome back from that break. And if you're just joining us, you're tuning into Sunday School on our topic today, Physical Breakthrough. And this is the time of the program where we go into our second lesson outline. Our lesson outline is from negative to positive. And it goes thus. Quite often, a breakthrough connotes a change in trend. One can express a breakthrough from negative or unfavorable circumstances to positive favorable conditions. Let us examine some biblical instances. Obey they done. The Bible says, from apparent nothingness to unimaginable blessings. That is a breakthrough. From nothing into what you cannot even think of because the act of the covenant will you accept Jesus into your life. It means that if you accept Jesus Christ into your life uh, and you allow him to the, be the pilot of your life, uh, breakthrough is going to happen. Breakthrough is going to happen. If that chick does not break, death is imminent. Death is imminent. But when you allow the act of the covenant to tabernacle, when you allow God in the Shekinah glory to be the Lord over your life, you will see that. Jabe is from sorrow to success. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Oh, that thou wouldest. The Bible says, And Jabez cried unto God for prayer point. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me, your hand be upon me. Bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, and that it might not grieve me. The Bible says, And God heard him from negative to positive. I don't know what your situation or your circumstance is. You might have even been named Ichabod because the glory had departed. You might be named Jabez because you were given battle in sorrow. You might be named this, you might be named that because your family came from nothing even in, in, in amongst the poorest. You, the poorest, you are the poorest. When you bring all the poor, as, the association of poor people together because they know themselves, you are even the poorest among them. Like our Father and the Lord said, told the story when they bought umbrella they rejoiced but amongst that the lord lifted his head up he is now a father to nations a man from nothing from nothing from nothing if you get to if you understand what i'm saying from nothing from nothing into land light into lamb light into lamb light god that did it for our father can do it for you can do it for me can do it for us hold on Peter, from emptiness to abundance, from emptiness to abundance by the word of the... You see, all oh, this is what I'm saying. Everything is still by the word of the Lord. So breakthrough is from the spiritual realm to the physical. But launch into the deep for a catch. Master, we have taught all night, nevertheless at your word. Can you allow the word of God to find expression in your life? Can you not allow your five senses to limit you? Our father in the Lord broke through in mathematics, applied mathematics. The Lord said, use the, the story of the Red Sea. Make, those two, make that equation. Put one on this side. Put that one on the other side. Because breakthrough is needed. If that breakthrough does not come through, nothing happens. On this side, on this side. Like God parted the Red Sea. Solve this, solve this. Put it together. That was it. That exact. The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is mighty upon the waters. Launch into the deep for a catch. Hmm. The widow of Zarephath, from hopelessness to miraculous supplies you can still see all this about the word by the word of the lord the lord can speak through his servant the lord can use the ministry or the office of a prophet to speak unto you and you say breakthrough will happen breakthrough is coming oh breakthrough is coming breakthrough is coming but allow the lord and allow the voice of the lord to find expression and that's why i said it there one of the things i gave to us there you see one of the things lack of sensitivity to the things of the spirit or to the voice of God. That's the reason why people are kept in bondage. But when you allow the voice of the Lord to lift you up high, breakthrough is coming. You see, Naaman from affliction to wholeness, still by the word of the Lord. The prophet said, go, wash yourself. Seven. If Naaman had dipped lesser than seven, what would happen? Nothing would have happened. A, the voice of the Lord. You want to pray for you to break through. You need the word of the Lord. The Lord said unto Isaac, remain in that land. The voice of... See, breakthrough comes by divine direction, by the word of the Lord. Mm. Elizabeth, from barrenness to fruitfulness. Elizabeth shall conceive the voice of the Lord. Mm. Our conclusion says, there cannot be a physical breakthrough without divine intervention. Therefore, if you're expecting a breakthrough in any facet of your life, you must turn to God for help. Mm. You must turn to God for help. 
God is the only one that can bring about your breakthrough. That breakthrough that you're waiting for, Kakali Kapasi Etasquata, can only come when God, when God, when God speaks and God wants to speak over your situation and circumstances, allow the voice of God to find expression. Before we pray our prayer today, we've been talking about breakthrough. But breakthrough can only come when a man has given and is yielded to God. The starting point is you need to give your life to Jesus if you've not met Jesus. And you want to say this prayer with me before we, we, we go into our prayer. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you and welcome you into my life. I believe you're the son of God who paid the price for my sin. By faith, I receive you into my heart as my Lord and Savior and my King. Today, I receive the life of Jesus Christ and declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave, they are broken over my life. Henceforth, I declare that my sins are forgiven and that I am born again. I am a child of God. I go forward and backward never in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Perhaps you said that prayer you saved. Now it's time for you to pray. Physical breakthrough comes by the word of the Lord. Because it starts in the place of the prayers. You want to say, oh God, please grant me great insights to discover what I should do to experience breakthrough in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Begin to pray for insight in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant me insight. Lord, speak your word. Speak your word. Speak your word. Speak your word into my life in the name of Jesus. I break through by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everything that is holding me captive, holding me hostage, keeping me in the state of perpetual bondage. Kapali Kwasia, Iskandos Kepanda, Elariata, Leruguasia. I break through. I break through. I break through. Ezekadegade, Zekwaswa, Ikepalia Dosia, Lesonduatia, Lesumba, Esati Kadaha, Zekwa, Igagadagada. I break through, I break through, I break through in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I break through, I break through in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I break through every hold, every shackles, every chain, every limitation, every barrier, every mountain, holding me, keeping me down, I break through in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I break through whosoever the sun shall make free he is free indeed is free indeed I am free I break through I break through I increase I increase I increase I go forward I go forward I go forward in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus decree and declare that you're going forward the top is your portion you will not die in that place of obscurity the Lord will lift you up the Lord will lift you up the Lord will take higher in the name of Jesus Christ mm. I pray for you today the Lord hear you in the day of trouble the name of the God of Jacob help you and defend you in the name of Jesus the Lord will send you help from sanctuary strengthen you out of Zion remember all your offerings accept your bond sacrifice grant you according to your own at request in the name of Jesus it is well with you when men are saying there's a casting down you will say there is a lifting there is a lifting there is a lifting you go higher you go higher go and prosper go and succeed go and increase go and break through because it is said by the word of the lord that you are breaking through in the name of jesus whosoever the son of god shall make free is free indeed and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty go and succeed in the name of jesus Thank you for joining us on this wonderful day. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for all that you do. The Lord will partner with you. The Lord be with you. The Lord shine his face upon you. The Lord make his countenance shine upon you. It is well with you. In the name of Jesus. Till I see you next time. Keep the fire burning. God bless you.